Hello everybody and welcome to this video and I thought I would do something different for a change. This time we're on Reddit. Um, we are on r slash crappy car designs. Now this is my first time on this subreddit so I, I, I'm assuming it's just a, comp a compilation of a bunch of very ugly cars and I warn you uh, I browsed through like the first few posts. It's mostly BMWs. Um, as you can clearly see here, um, it's also my first video on, of me recording on the laptop, so the quality is probably not going to be that good. And I, I also tried recording videos before, the laptop quality, the microphone quality I should say, isn't really that good, so uh, I warn you. This, probably, this video is also probably going to be unedited and probably not going to have a thumbnail. I hope I'll be able to get a thumbnail in there, but... I doubt it, but let's just um, browse through this and see what we find. Alright, so first of all, um, yeah, we have that. Let's just wait for this to load. If it will load. So I think we're going to have to go to um, uh, Hot Post. So the Chrysler Town and Country has some nasty panel issues Ooh, that really doesn't look that good uh, i'm gonna have to give that an upvote Ooh, that panel those panels don't look good they're not even Ooh, i'm isn't, isn't that the the town and country is that no i think it's the sedan i think i don't know um voldemort or pig you pick I told you this was gonna have a lot of BMWs in it, and oh my goodness, isn't this like the new 4 series? My goodness, this thing is just so ugly. I I thought this was a joke when I first saw like the new 4 series. I thought it was just a plain joke. Like there's no way BMW is actually going this route, but they are, and it looks absolutely ugly and disgusting. The 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 kidney grills, except from the top. Like, where the headlights are, all the way to, like, where the bottom lip is. That's just... Oh, it's so ugly. It, yeah, pig. It, yeah, this is just a pig. Um, okay, let's move on. This, uh, the Bentley Ventega, it looks like. Those lights are staring at you. Be careful. Uh, you know, personally, I think it's not that bad. I, I see why people don't like it. A lot of times, if there's... A car that I like that a bunch of people, uh, a bunch of other people don't like. Uh, I understand why these people, these uh, people will like it, or I mean, don't like it. But personally, I don't think th this is this is that bad. Um, what is this hot air balloon looking thing? Uh, I don't, this is clearly a Volkswagen. I don't know what Volkswagen it is, but I do agree that it's a it's a bit weird. I feel like the cabin is too low. It, it makes it look smushed. That's what it looks like, and I don't know, there's, there's something else about it, like, I think these wheel, like, the way they flared these wheel art, these wheel wells, um, it just, it just doesn't look right. Um, let's hope this stays a render. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, but this, unfortunately, did not stay as a render. This became the actual car, and oh goodness, it is ugly. I hate it so bad. I hate the BMW design language that uh, the new BMW design language that they're going with. It's it's just terrible. Ew, you're right. That is ew. That is absolutely disgusting. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it with a passion. Um. In terms of ugliness, I compare this um, to what is that called? Um, the Pontiac Aztec. Except I think this looks worse than the Aztec, especially the back. Cause I know a little bit about car design, and I'll tell you right now, the problem this car has. What is this called? The X6. Um, the problem this car has is that it's way too overstyled. I mean, you have these vents down here. You have um, this crease in the bodywork, and all these lines that, that they don't flow with each other. This line down here, it doesn't flow with this, this doesn't flow with anything, nothing flows together, it just does not work. Um, 
if a cockroach was a car, we just looked at that. Oh my goodness, now that you said that, it looks like a cockroach. I cannot unsee that. Upvote. Oops, didn't I? Oops, for some reason I can't give it an upvote. An upvote, but okay. What is this? That is ugly. That's, it's plain and simple. That is ugly. Oh my, it, it just... Yeah, I told you, this is going to be mostly BMW, so... Um... Even though this lad couldn't afford a Buick, he got that rims. <laughs> I mean, you, you, if you have the rims of a car, you, if I have, if I put a Lamborghini Aventador rims on my Toyota Corolla, I like I might as well have a Lamborghini Aventador. I got like uh, 100 plus horsepower now. Uh, automatically all-wheel drive car just by changing the rims. You know, you know what I'm, you know what I'm saying. What the frick even is this? I'm looking at that right now. What? I for some reason I can't uh, give up votes. Oh my. What is that? Like. It's something. It's something. I, I, I heard that they made VW. They, they, there were VW buses and they turned them into trucks as well. But I didn't actually know until now, I guess. This is so wrong in every aspect. Um, in every aspect. Wait, oh, let's just... Hey, that's a nice soup. Wait, what? Wait, wait, hold, hold on a second. First of all, that wide body kit, it's too, it's, uh, it's, it's too much. And you got those, like, R35 tail lights. It doesn't, and because the car is, like, the R35 is like flat on the back, but the Supra is curvy in the back. So when you just put R34 or R35, whatever, tail lights in the back, it just makes it look like a Veyron. And that just makes it look even worse. And that, that body kit is disgusting. I hate it. Um, uh, so that's enough of that. Yeah. Volkswagen with Porsche rims. Uh, to be honest, I like those rims... They, they don't look good on that car, and I don't imagine they'd look that good um, <clears throat> on a Porsche. Um, I'm assuming this is an old Porsche, because no, nobody does rims like this anymore. Um, so this this is r slash crappy car designs, but I'm seeing a bicycle here. Um, um, that did, that uh, No judgment here, but... I'll say right now, it he he was committed. Whoever made this bike, I'm assuming the guy riding it, he he was committed. Okay, these mud flaps are attached to the trailer hitch. <laughs> oh my goodness, those are about the most useless mud flaps you'll ever see. They are attached to the trailer hitch. Those mu I'm sorry, man. Those mud flaps ain't gonna do anything for you. Oh my goodness! I wish I could give upvotes, but for some reason it doesn't work. Um, just laughing emoji, laughing emoji, laughing emoji. What is this? It's something. It, it's something. It, it is something. Let's see what's next here. Hmm. Why does my man have what looks like a rubber, like a plastic bird, in his grill? Is that is he trying to make a hood ornament? Is, is that what my man is doing? Is that he's trying to make a hood ornament? That's the if so, that is the worst hood ornament I have ever seen, ever. So let's see what's next. Nasty. Ah, uh, you, do you think you're special by posting a Pontiac Aztec? Really? Give me something better. Something better. Nice. I can see it smelling me. <laughs> oh, I want to give an up an upvote so bad, but I can't for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, why would you do that? Do what? The what is that? The Hyundai Kona. To be honest, I don't think the design looks bad. I actually, I actually kind of like the the way the Kona looks. But you know, opinions and opinion, whatever, whatever. Um. The, this new beauty, Lexus LM300H. Oh my goodness! Oh, is that a joke? Is that a joke? What is Lex? Is Lexus doing like 
some sort of like a minivan or whatever. Oh my goodness. Oh, I hope this is a joke. I hope this is a joke. But looking at like a Tesla Cybertruck, the BMW 4 Series, I doubt this is a joke. Oh my goodness. I do not want to see that on the road anytime soon. I feel genuine rage by just looking at this. Oh my goodness. This is just terrible. It has a gaping mouth. I hate this new design trend where people are just putting giant gaping mouths on cars. It doesn't look good. It's not, it, it looks ugly. It just looks ugly. The only time the Lexus grill looks good on a car is on sedans and coupes. That is it. Don't put them on these. It makes it look atrocious. This is absolutely disgusting. I hate it. I hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. Oh my goodness. I'm afraid about what's next now. After I saw this, I'm afraid about what's next. Let's replicate the alien from the back. 19, 2019 Range Rover Velar. Wait, wait, let's replicate an alien from the back. Um, doesn't look that bad, actually. I like rain. I like the Velar. I like it. I like how it has a flat roof line, but still kind of slopes back. I like it. I like Range Rovers, the way they look. It's just that they're so overpriced. They scam. All luxury brands scam you. And I heard that they have very bad reliability, and I believe it. Um... Nostrils, the new BMW X7, uh, yep, I mean this one isn't nearly as bad, but it is still very bad, um, it's smelling something BMW Z4, I mean the, the Z4, I like the Z4, I like, the, I, mean, I, don't, I don't know what's going on with this Z4, uh, I, I thought the Z4 looked a bit different, this one, this one looks a bit weird, but this is, and this is infinitely better than whatever this BMW X7 is, like, infinitely better. Open wide 2019 Toyota Avalon. Oh my goodness, it it gets worse every time I look at it. Oh goodness gracious, the Avalon. The Avalon. It's a car. Is it a good looking car? No, especially with those ugly rims, like silver chrome rims. Like that design, like that trend of chrome and silver. Uh, rims just is dead. It shouldn't exist anymore. This is a 2019 Avalon. Oh my goodness. Mitsubishi. Uh, uh, I can't say that word. Um, Mitsubishi Triton. Oh, I made a pickup truck. You know what? I like this. I don't know about you, but I like this. I don't know. I like this. I, I mean, I, my opinion could change in the future, but right now I think I. I like this. I see why people don't like it, but I like it. I don't know why, but I do. And Triton, that's, that's a nice name, especially for like this truck, for like a truck. Um, looks like it would compete with like a Tundra and the Ranger, Ford Ranger and Toyota, no, not Tundra, Tacoma, Tacoma, um, the new Citroen C3. <laughs> That is the stupidest looking car I have ever seen. The stupidest thing ever. Oh my goodness. It doesn't look ugly. It just looks stupid. Oh my. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. Move, move on to the next thing. This beautiful 2019 Camaro. The Camaro. Yeah, I, I, I don't really like it that much. Um. The, the, really, the only thing G, the GM did wrong was they painted the bumper black. They should have left the bumper body color. That's the only thing GM did wrong. If they, if they colored that body color, that would look perfect. Um, and I think GM, like, changed this, like, a few months after, because, uh, yeah, this really doesn't... I, th I thought I liked it, like, at first I saw it, but now that I see the newer one that has... A, the body colored uh, bumper, yeah, this looks just bad, uh, really bad. And the only thing they changed was the was the front bumper. Everything else is still the same. If you, all they did was yeah, all they did was change the front bumper. 
the, the, the front end, because the hood is still the same, the rest of the car is still the same, because it still has that same line that goes down there, and that goes up, yeah, it's, this is the same car, they just changed the front end and the rear tail light, so, let's see what's next, my dad's Q7 has the battery located at the bottom of the seat, ooh, that, that's, a, that's something bad, just waiting to happen, Ooh, if you spill something, uh, oh my goodness, if you spill something, you don't have a car. You're just going to have to get a new battery. Um, unfortunate for you, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed uh, this video. Uh, something different, checking out some Reddit. Um, hopefully we'll see some more stuff on Reddit soon. Um, but for now, thanks for watching.